Hemoglobin is a very important molecule because it is the molecule that carries oxygen in the blood. Hemoglobin is a protein. There are about 300 million molecules of hemoglobin in a single red blood cell. Each hemoglobin molecule is made up of four subunits. Each subunit includes an iron atom that binds to an oxygen molecule. This is why you have to be sure that your diet includes enough iron. Iron is found in foods such as spinach, beans, meat, and dried apricots. So oxygen readily binds to hemoglobin, which is then transported throughout the body by the blood system. But how exactly does the hemoglobin then release the oxygen right to where it's needed? Well, what's oxygen needed for? A big answer to that question is cellular respiration. Without oxygen, there's no cellular respiration. However, a byproduct of cellular respiration is carbon dioxide, which is acidic. So highly active areas of the body where there's a lot of cellular respiration are also areas where the pH is dropping. So now, how do you suppose a hemoglobin molecule feels about a drop in pH? As in the case with many other proteins, hemoglobin changes its shape relative to pH. At a lower pH, the shape changes in such a way that the oxygen is no longer held so tightly. So wherever oxygen is needed most also happens to be where the pH is the least. And this is where hemoglobin releases oxygen the best, right where it's needed. That's the chemistry of life. To life. <music>